Hey everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to A Common Idiot, and this is going to be my non-spoiler review of Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now, let me give you a prerequisite. I am a massive Ghostbusters fan. I absolutely love the original film. I probably know it by heart and have seen it way more than I probably have ever should have. Um, but I have that's one of my favorite movies of all time. The sequel, part two, Ghostbusters 2, was okay. It's not my favorite. I obviously respect it and enjoy it and watch it because it's got the original Ghostbusters in it, but it's not even near my favorite movie. This film, without any spoilers, I absolutely loved it. It was everything I ever wanted in another Ghostbusters movie. I don't think they could have done it any better. And again, I know I might be biased because I am a massive Ghostbusters fan, but this was shockingly well done. I was extremely surprised. Now, I'm not even going to really get into Ghostbusters 2016. The movie sucked and it has nothing to do with because of females in it. It was just a well, it was just a terribly done movie. So it, it's, I don't even want to, the fact that I'm going to bring it up is sad. But anyway, this was so shockingly well done. Like I said, I, I went into it wanting to love it, but I was, I was nervous. I was nervous because everything, I mean, if you see movies today, you can understand why. This is how you pay tribute to the original movie. You add enough nostalgia to tip your hat to old fans that made the franchise what it is, but also introduce something new that a new audience can love, and I think they nailed it. I don't know any other, uh, a, a better way they could have done it. Like I said, this is non-spoiler, so I'm not going to get into anything too crazy. If you've seen trailers, then you will know some of it that I'm talking about. Um, the story was perfect. Like I said, how it it basically was a continuation of the first film. And this wraps it up completely, is the best way I can explain it. The characters. I'm not a big fan of kid actors. Normally, they're not good. They're cringy or lame or just, you know, you know, I mean, if you've seen enough movies with kid actors in it, you're like, eh, you know, they're not that great. They did a perfect job. Uh, McKenna Grace, the girl who plays Egon's granddaughter, was phenomenal. Stole the movie, fell in love with her character. She's one of my favorite characters in the Ghostbuster universe now, by far. Uh, not the mo not my, not my absolute favorite, but she's up there. She did a stellar job selling the idea that she was um, Egon's granddaughter. Like, couldn't have done it any better. Finn Wolfhart was Finn Wolfhart, the older brother. He did okay. I understand why they put him in the film. Um, he, he did all right. He wasn't, uh, I would say, wouldn't, wasn't stellar, but he, he did good. He was a believable big brother, I guess. Um, now, McKenna Grace's, her name's uh, Phoebe in the movie, sidekick or friend podcast, uh, played by Logan Kim. He was really funny, surprising. I thought he was going to be annoying. He's really funny. Like, he is the, I don't, I don't, I don't want to give anything away. He's funny. He's a, he did a really good job, surprisingly. Paul Rudd is Paul Rudd. Like, who doesn't love Paul Rudd? And he nailed it in this movie. He was a really good actor. The mother, Carrie Coon, did a good job. Did a really good job. I like her little story, storyline, and how that kind of comes full circle, I guess, is the best way to explain it. It's This, is, this movie is definitely a family-oriented movie. It's a family film. It's about family, and they they definitely tug on your heartstrings for sure. There were grown men, including myself, in this film that were emotional and teared up. I'm not going to lie and say I didn't. They, like I said, it's nostalgia-driven. There's a lot, there's so many Easter eggs from the first film or things that you, you know, oh my God, there's that, there's this, you know, look at that. You, It's just there, and they did a perfect job blending it all in together, Obviously, the actor who played Egon, Harold Ramis, uh, passed away years ago, so they did a fantastic job, uh, basically a tribute to him. It's emotional. It's an emotional film. I, I, I said, I don't want to give anything away, but it is so respectfully done, this film, to not just, I mean, to everybody, to all the original characters, the original movie, uh, Harold Ramis, I mean, it's just... A beautifully done film. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. By far, it's not a perfect film. But I loved it. I I can't remember the last time I went into a movie 
having this much fun. And again, I know I'm biased because I absolutely love the Ghostbusters, but I had such a blast with this film. Like I didn't, I just forgot about everything. I forgot about everything going on in the world and in life and it was pure escapism. And I had so much fun. I'm definitely going to see this again. Like I said, with music and nostalgia, they did a really good job with the old music, but tied into new scores as well. Like it's just, it's beautifully done. It's so good. And it makes you feel good because it it brings up like for me, it brings up your childhood memories. Like, oh, I, I know that music. You know what I mean? But this is new. And it's just interweaved perfectly, at least in my opinion. Um, I already said the story is a continuation of the first one they do. Have, and it makes sense, though. Sometimes they force these stories and it just it's like, what? What are you talking about? This is, it's explained. It makes sense. You go, oh, okay, I can I can see that. I can understand that. And it's not just like, it doesn't seem like this movie was forced, if that makes sense, with some sequels. Um, the practical effects and CGI were awesome. Normally, I, like, I am a big fan of practical effects. I miss that from the old movies from back in the 80s and stuff. And I'm so glad that they nailed it with this. They did a perfect combination, and it was just, it was really cool to see practical effects back into a movie um I, I had a blast I love this film I'm still riding high for the next day off of this film and I'm definitely going to see this again for sure uh seeing the Ecto-1 seeing other things that you know are in this movie was per it was it was awesome it was it was like being a kid again you know but it was new and I loved it it was just like I said, I think the, the biggest surprise for me, at least, were the introduction to new characters and how I was able to fall in love with them, specifically uh, McKenna Grace's character, as much as the originals. And I think that that's normally not, you don't do, you don't see that in movies, you know? But at least for me, this was able to do that, and I love it. And I'm excited to see this again. And yeah, I, it's, I give this... At least in my opinion, I think it's a 9 out of 10 for sure. It was fun. It's emotional. It's it's what I wanted. It was perfect. And it, it wasn't, there was no no crazy politics, nothing down your throat, no agendas. It doesn't matter what side of the aisle you sit on. If you like Ghostbusters, you're going to love this movie, in my opinion. Uh, if Even if you don't love Ghostbusters, if you just think it's an okay film, I think you're going to watch this and you're going to enjoy it. You may not think it's a 9 out of 10, but I think you're going to have fun at the, at the theater and watching this film. So... If you've seen this, let me know below in the comments what you thought or if you plan on seeing it. If you're going to leave comments, please do not leave spoilers for other people. I don't want to ruin it for anybody because I hate that. I've, it's happened to me before and it's like, damn it, it sucks. But um, let me know what your thoughts are below in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Go out, see this movie. It's worth going in theaters if you can. Definitely, definitely recommend this film. Like I said, 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, 